Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you should know about Jolly Red, how to access his boat, and the new museum. To start things off, first you will need to update the game to 1.2.0 if you haven't done that already. The update came out almost a decade ago and on time, unlike this video. So anyway, after the day you've updated the game, you'll have a leaf in the plaza selling the brand new shrubs bushes. But you also notice a new icon on the map that leads to the far north of the map. That is the Jolly Red's treasure trawler. So uh, let's just call it Red's boat for the sake of my tongue. To be able to physically reach the boat, you would have to obtain a ladder which is provided to you via recipe. Most people by progressing naturally will obtain it after 3-5 to five days from Tom Nuke during the first island expansion, where you are required to find a plot for 3 new houses. I won't enter into too much details, but yeah, you would need the ladder in order to access this part of the island. The first time you find the boat, you won't be able to enter it because the owner of the boat, Jolly Red, is not in it. So naturally, you have to find him on the island, and once you talk to him, you'll be prompted into buying one of his art pieces, which you probably can't buy because of the insanely high price, however, he will immediately lower it so it will be reasonably affordable the second time. Once you buy the first piece of art from Red, head to the museum, where Bladders will trigger his brand new dialogue about expanding the museum in order to include an art section. You might have seen this weird and unusual pathway towards the top with nothing, that's where the doorway to the new art section will be. Simply handle him the piece of art you just bought from Red using the first option of the dialogue, which is conveniently colored blue. And if the art that you gave him is real, he will immediately tell you that this will allow him to expand the museum. The following day, Isabel will announce that the museum is currently under maintenance due to the expansion, so it won't be completed and usable until the next day, which is two days after. So the day after, simply talk to Bladders in which he'll respond to you with all the greatness of the new art section behind the museum. After that, go find Red roaming on your island once again, and this time he'll ask you if you'd like to become cousin. Alabama style so you can continuously buy all of his art at a quote-unquote discount price. From this point on you can access his boat whenever he is on the island. Inside the boat you'll have at your disposal four art items and two regular items. The regular items are recolor variations of existing items so you can buy as many as you want. However, red will only sell you one art piece per day, but on top of that you have to make sure that the art that you are buying is the real one in order for bladders to include it in his museum. Since all art pieces are based off of real life art, to know which one is real or which one is fake, you have to compare them with the real one. The easiest method is to google all the answers if you're not into detective works. The game also doesn't make it easy because it doesn't tell you the real name of the art in the description, so for people who want to do research manually, it will be harder. Most people take a snapshot of the art and reverse search using their phone. If you don't know what reverse searching is, it's basically trying to find the source of something by giving the system the result instead of a keyword, for example. The sculptures are the easiest to differentiate because they are larger than most paintings. The differences are fairly easy to spot. It's usually something that is supposed to be there or not there. So, for example, this David statue by Michelangelo is the real one because a fake one has some cloth in his hand. If you're at least 70 to 80% sure that it is the same as the real one, it is the real one. It's not hard to differentiate, especially when the models of the statues are rendered in low poly and the paintings are rendered in Minecraft. Another example is this Mona Lisa. This one is less noticeable, but is actually fake. In the real one, Mona Lisa isn't smiling. For those who studied art, one key trait of the Mona Lisa painting is that she has the most neutral facial expression that both evokes happiness and sadness at the same time. So, as you can see, this one is quite fake. All in all, be careful which art you're buying because once you buy one, you cannot refund it and it takes a whole day to be shipped to your mailbox. What can I say when you can literally buy a naked David and potentially put it in your house, am I right? One other annoying thing is that he is not a permanent villager seller like Nuke's Cranny or the Evil Sisters, despite having an icon on the map. He'll appear randomly like any other wandering villagers, which adds a whole new layer of pain in the ass even if you're a time traveler. I guess it's their way of discouraging people to do time travel, but let's be honest, most of you will probably do it anyway. And that's about it, hope this helped any of you out there, and happy art hunting! See ya!